All right, we just put our pork loin in our crock pot. All right, now I'm gonna come in with two cans of pineapple chunks with the juice, and we're just gonna go ahead and pour both of these cans right on top of our pork loin. This is gonna be such an easy and delicious dinner. You're going to love it, I promise. It's so important that you have that liquid in there because that's what's gonna make it extra tender. All right, the next thing we're gonna bring in is some dark brown sugar. And we are just gonna go ahead and sprinkle our dark brown sugar right into our crock pot with those pineapples. This is gonna be such an easy and delicious dinner. It's so, it's so good. It has some, you know, almost Hawaiian flavors to it. And you guys are going to love it. If you love pineapple, you'll love this dish. Okay, I just grabbed my tongs. We're gonna go ahead and use them to flip. And then we're gonna get those pineapples right underneath it. Oh, look how beautiful that meat is. All right, now that I adjusted it just slightly, I'm gonna come back in with that brown sugar super quick. Just get this side coated in brown sugar as well. This is gonna be so good. Look at that meat. Okay, I added about four to five tablespoons of brown sugar into our crock pot. Now our last but not least, ingredient is some soy sauce. I'm opting for the less sodium soy sauce just, you know, to make it a little bit healthier, but this is not a healthy dinner, okay? This is a delicious dinner. This is a guilty pleasure dinner. And we are just gonna add a few tablespoons, about two tablespoons of that soy sauce. Delicious, smells so good. It's gonna be incredible. Let's go ahead and grab the lid to our crock pot, cover it up. And we're gonna pop this on high to let it cook super fast. All right, it's been four hours on high. Let's go ahead and turn this off and check it out. Oh, wow, that looks incredible. Okay, it is time to pull it out and get it on our cutting board. Let's see how we can get this. wants to fall apart you guys Ooh. oh that's how you know it is cooked well cut right into it oh my look how tender and juicy that looks some jasmine rice that goes so perfectly but we're gonna go ahead and get some of those pineapples and that teriyaki or I mean soy sauce juices right onto our rice before we top it with our perfectly cooked pork okay put that right on top and dinner is served you don't even knife, need a knife, it just comes right apart.